As you can see, I'm yet in another city doing personal one-on-one -on -one spiritual encounters. Check my schedule. Find where we can meet in a city, somewhere near you, so that you can get free, stay free, and live free. Or you could come to our beautiful ministry center in Phoenix, Arizona, and receive the same kind of help. I'm going to speak about a very controversial subject today. I hope that none will misinterpret what I have to say here, but someone has to speak out about the fact that Christians, to an alarming extent, are killing themselves. And I believe in most cases, it's likely that demons were involved. I realize there are many factors leading to suicide, mental illness, depression, drug addiction, unresolved trauma, for example. But this is the second leading cause of death in America from those ages 10 to 30 plus. It's an epidemic. And after 40 years of ministry and counseling, many times dealing with cases like this, I believe that I have the experience and anecdotal evidence to address the fact that the sheer irrationality in the cases of Christians killing themselves points to demonization. Let's look at the case this last week of Pastor Jared Wilson. This was no down and outer. He wasn't suffering from some physical disability. He was successful. He'd been a megachurch pastor in Nashville and was currently serving as associate pastor at Harvest Church, where Pastor Greg Laurie is the senior pastor, one of the most respected evangelical ministers in America. Wilson had written books that were bestsellers. In fact, he had even established a ministry to reach out, he said, to the people who suffer from brokenness, depression, self-harm, addiction, and suicide. And yet, he killed himself. He killed himself and left behind a wife and two children, ages two and four. Similar to a successful megachurch pastor in Chino, California last year, who also killed himself and left behind a wife and a couple of small children. I don't pretend to know what was going on in Pastor Wilson's mind, but the incomprehensibility of what happened seems to indicate to me that something evil was involved here and that possibly, quite possibly, there was demonization. One thing we can be certain of is that a person like Pastor Wilson, who finds himself in a situation like this, is likely not to get help. For example, he moved in the kind of circles that don't believe a Christian can have a demon. So what was he supposed to do? That just wasn't an option. You know, it's like having a serious disease and there is a certain group of doctors who know how to perform an operation that can fix you and cure that disease. But you don't have the operation because you don't like the modality of medicine practiced by those particular doctors. And so you die because of that prejudice. And that's what we got to get over. The Christians who kill themselves, I believe in most cases, have inherited generational curses of death. There may have been murder or people who were murdered in their past, people who committed suicide. And there can be other factors like dissociative identity disorder, the hiding away of unrecovered memories that are tormenting, or shame from something that did happen that a person can't remember or doesn't want to remember. There are so many things going on here, but we have to face the fact that no one is immune, not even Christians, from killing themselves these days. And that in some instances, only inner healing and deliverance is going to save them. What would have happened if Pastor Jared Wilson had received inner healing and deliverance? Perhaps he did, and I don't know. I'm only speculating it's likely that he didn't, because that just wasn't an option in the theological circles in which he circulated. This is the tragedy. We could save lives, but the prejudice against spiritual warfare and deliverance by the evangelical community is literally killing people. I grieve for the family of Pastor Jared Wilson, his young wife and two little children who were left behind. I don't know, perhaps he could be alive today 
if there had been the appropriate intervention by inner healing and deliverance. I do know this. Much of the blame for Christians who kill themselves is the responsibility of churches who teach against the idea that Christians can be tormented and demonized to the point of self-murder. And I have to wonder, unless we change how we see this in the Christian world today, tragically, how many more will die? Cancel curses, break soul ties, cleanse your ancestry, and cast out demons. Enroll now in the International School of Exorcism and the Advanced Academy of Deliverance. For the latest information on resources, seminars, conferences, training institutes, retreats, and international missions, go to boblarson.org. Thank you for your prayers and financial partnership.